It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at Virginia Fox. Today, West Virginians glory in the success of their Hollywood royalty, Charlestonian Jennifer Garner. But a century ago, their favorite native actress was Virginia Fox. Born in Wheeling around 1901, Fox was 18 when she visited a friend in Los Angeles and they dropped by Max Sennett's studio, the premier maker of silent films. Her natural beauty got her hired on the spot. Her comic timing got her frequently paired with Buster Keaton. In 1924, Fox married producer Daryl F. Zanuck. She quit acting to care for her family, which included three children. Meanwhile, her husband co-founded 20th Century Pictures, which later merged with the ironically named Fox Studios, creating 20th Century Fox. Zanuck won an Oscar in 1950 for the backstage comedy drama All About Eve, but there was trouble in paradise. Zanuck left his family for a period to live in Europe, leaving their son Richard to run the studio. But when it had an economic downturn, Zenick tried to get him fired. Virginia, however, was 20th Century Fox's largest shareholder and used her influence to protect her son and have her husband ousted instead. She then demanded an end to his free lifestyle in Europe and his return home, with which he complied. In 1990, Richard, like his father, won an Oscar for Best Picture for Driving Miss Daisy. His son, Dean, continues the family tradition as a film producer. Virginia Fox passed away in 1982 and was buried in Los Angeles next to her husband, who died in 1979. The legacy of West Virginia's first Hollywood royalty lives on in classic films, the work of a great film studio, and a bloodline of talent.